is this is IDQ and in this video we'll go over applying pressure correctly and making space for the other course. This game I was playing Razor, I was like equally farmed to the opponent Storm since he got like uh, you know one kill so obviously I didn't get it. Uh, so yeah we're like equal farm me and the Storm Spirit. Meanwhile Luna is okay in farm, it's a very very similar situation to the op opponent's position one which is a troll right they have similar farm we have sim i have similar farm with them obviously if you like this type of content go to gamersclass.com for just 9.99 a month watch master classes with pro players join exclusive live sessions and get 24 7 access to coaches and other high mmr players get full control of your rank games and start owning with our supreme dota 2 membership so first of all try not to gank or go help your team unless you can secure kills for sure that means that you don't just run in for no reason right you wait for the opportunity to go and get kills that means that you usually just want to tp defensively to help your team right since the opponents are diving that's when you tp in and get a kill it's very very easy that means that you don't waste your tp and don't waste the time that you're going there right since you will get the gold out of the TP that you're getting and meanwhile if the opponent mid laner are just farming you will get a gold from the kills there's no reason to just TP in and then wait for 30 seconds of oh maybe I can get a kill you, know, you, you don't know if the opponents have vision there or anything second thing is that you need to you need to make sure that uh, you're strong and that by that I mean you need to have an item right for example I this is the first moment I wrote it I see Storm is mid 11 minutes in, obviously I'm very very strong right here, I have a clockwork, that's the only reason why I went here. And now I have a Yule Scepter. Highest Scepter right now, I got a kill, I can apply pressure, right? It was just TP sort of defensively, defending the tower also, exactly as I said before. And then, uh, this is how you apply pressure, right? One guy is dead, you just go push in, push in as much as possible. One guy is rotating back to defend, meanwhile Luna is farming, right? Even though she's just jungling, Troll got a kill here, and then she's still similar farm to him. Because this guy is now busy, bottom, right? This guy is bottom busy again, TP there, and then I just rotate back to the mid lane. I don't care about what's happening bottom anymore, I apply pressure somewhere else, right? Which is exactly what I'm doing right here. I have a regen so I can play more aggressively. My next item is going to be Boots of Travel, exactly the same idea as before. I simply just want uh, to move around the map so I can match the pace of Storm Spirit in this game. And also because I have an HS Prophet, right? He has a TP, I will get boots of travel, I have a clocker, right? He can hook from sidelines, so I can maybe get more kills. This is again the second rotation I do. Again, same idea. This guy's just pushing a tower, it's kind of low. I can just press my spells and kill him. Make sure that you see this, right? I don't use the Yule Scepter. I do not use it because I know exactly as I said before I know that I have to make sure to not get killed which is exactly what's happening right here right they initiate on me I dispel their care or non-star but he's half mana right now and I can play aggressive again I can just go in I'm two levels above this guy the Storm spirit and like 300 gold ahead of him but mostly it's just the gold uh, the experience that I'm gaining over him because I'm getting the kills and even though he's also getting kills, we have the same score, 3 0 0 3 0, 0. I'm getting the solo kills, which is better, obviously. He's just uh, getting kills with his team, which doesn't give him that much, right? Since the um, experience is split, obviously. So, again, okay, now I buy the Boots of Travel, so I can apply more pressure. I can just force the troll not to farm aggressively, right? He, he, even though he has a battle theory, as you can see right now, see? Uh, Luna's 1,000 gold behind him, uh, ahead of him. Even though like two minutes ago or something like that, there were similar network. Just because I know how to apply pressure and how to move around the map, it's very easy to make space for your course like that. As you can see, I'm still highest network. And this guy is also like a thousand gold ahead of the enemy carry because he's forced to play more defensively because of my items. Right, Yule Scepter, I can play, it's a defensive and an offensive item. I can just uh, Yule someone and get static link off so I get a lot of damage or I can just use it defensively on myself as you can see I don't go there I don't care what my support is doing whatever yeah his position 
five, I believe. Let's just go in there to feed. I don't care. I get my farm up. And then I believe I'll be, rota I'll be rotating bottom again. Which is where I want to play. Because Troll should be playing bottom, right? He should be here and farming ancients and going like this on a minimap. When I'm, uh, wait, I don't know if I can throw it. No, I went up again for a kill. Because I, I see the opponents are there, right? I see two people, so I can't. Uh, I can go on two people. And this is also just a free kill for my Luna. As you can see, again, I'm not using Yule Scepter. I have Yule Scepter. I don't know where Storm is. I don't know where Wither Ivan is. Storm will stop, right? If I Yule Scepter the Centaur, they can jump on me. Because I have no defensive items afterwards. I'm 1000 HP. I'm pretty sure I will die to them. But since I don't use the Yule Scepter, which is exactly as I said before, make sure you don't die when you're ganking. It's super important. Because if you get a kill and you die, it's not worth it. Because your game slows down so much. You will simply fall off in the game. Again, throw with Battle Fury, it's farming similar with Luna. Obviously she has Moon Glaives, but you know, Troll should be farming a bit a bit faster, I believe. But since this guy came top, got a kill, I mean got a courier, got an assist called and farming ancients very easily. Obviously just uh Again I'm going bottom right now. When I see troll bottom in this position, I can play aggressively, right? Since the wave before was here, I said I should be going bottom. The wave was here, so I can't really contest him here. But since the wave is going to be here, I can just take the farm away from him. And even though I'm not directly applying pressure to him, right? I'm not running at this guy. I'm not coming here. I'm just cutting the map, sort of, right? He, this is just the space that he can play, where where he can play. Maybe here. But their whole team should just be playing here, right? This is all they have. Meanwhile, Luna can farm this camp, can farm this camp, this camp, this camp, from their, their part of the jungle, right? As you can see. They just farm here, here, here. She has so much more space. The whole map, basically, it's hers. I mean, they only have, um, like this, sort of, to play as a dire, because I'm playing bottom here. No TV base, just get my, uh, get mana and go back. As you can see, Troll is just confined to this. Meanwhile, Luna can farm this camp, this camp, this camp, this camp. Four camps that she shouldn't really be getting. Troll can farm this one, this one, this one, right? Troll doesn't have the opportunity because I was bottom. And where do I go? Where do I draw on the map? Again, bottom. I draw from my team. Let's go bottom, bottom, bottom. This is where we're supposed to play to make space for my Luna. She is just farming, uncontested. She has uh, money for Manta right now. Storm can't really kill her anymore. Can play even more aggressively. Just go here, get this guy. Ah, this was a mistake by the Nature Prophet just TP on top of him, literally on top of him and got whirling access. So he can he just misses. He instantly gets killed. I had to use Scepter there because you know I just wanted to make sure that he TPs but he TP'd wrong. So yeah, I die here. I couldn't really do anything without Yule Scepter. You know. With I three here, but it was a good play if this guy could not TP in his W, right? It throws W, pretty sure he would have died. Either way, it's still an okay play, you know. The idea was correct, the execution was wrong. That's the main thing that you can get from this, right? Go in, basically. But the uh, execution wrong. Obviously, it's a pop, so you can't really communicate that well. As you can see, this was worse. The Shadow, I mean, Nature's Prop should have TP. But he's not TP, he's not yet. He's waiting. Wait, wait, and ETP, as you can see, they got whirling access, so it's missing. Yeah. As you can see, not even hitting, not even hitting, just running away. But yeah, I, I die here, it's okay either way. All the opponents are here. Yeah, we lose a bit of gold, we're dying. Not that great. However, Luna is still far. Luna is getting more gold, more gold, more gold. I'm up then, I go bottom again. Because I have to de push this wave so I can apply pressure again, right? Luna's. A lot more farm than troll right now. The 1000 gold differential that was before is now 1500 almost. So, in the carry matchup, we're still doing great. Obviously, you have to know when to sacrifice your game, sort of, right? I'm sort of sacrificing my game as a razor because I could have been, you know, farming more efficiently and stuff like that. But I know that I won't be catching this storm, right? We don't have anything for storm. So, I have to make the opponent's game worse. Obviously, these trolls, right? I counter troll with static link, Yule Scepter getting um, stuff to just annoy him. 
because we don't have anything for storm and center doesn't matter that much or they kill him so the only option to apply pressure is on this guy just and throw i don't do anything to the other uh, core which is storm as i mentioned before also this is pretty good against me winter driver and can uh, disengage winter scurs obviously call the brace people so there's a lot of uh, potential to counter initiate and stuff look at the map exactly right now look at how it looks top this is everything only the the opponents have only uh, this line where I can I can't even draw there's a bug I believe but sort of like this as you can see this is what the opponents had this guy's dead right there because I again I'm coming bottom I'm just going where I have to be and I'm close to BKB and Luna now is just getting even more for 2000 gold differential meanwhile me and Storm are like equal even though I died to him sort of right he's 600 right now I mean 601 right now 4 1 because I died bottom we can we have a lot more pressure on the map because I'm playing bottom pressuring the map right there forcing spells right here there are a lot of because obviously they're dying bottom so we can do a lot more stuff so we're just alive we exactly as i said before they have not we have nothing for him however the opponents are still dying you just have to realize who can you mess their game up i mean whose game can you mess up i can't do anything to storm obviously as you saw before i mean early game i went on centaur i can easily kill centaur he can run away from me i have yule settler i can save myself I can also, you know, keep him in place if he, sta if he uses um, Stampede and Storm. If I see Storm somewhere on the map, I can just use Scepter him, right? Because I, I know that I won't be dying. However, Storm is missing, I can't do it. Now, again, 3000 gold almost. Differential between Luna, that's full free farming. Obviously, he has a lot more space than Troll. And, uh, yeah, we I'm still ahead of the Storm a bit right now. I'm level 18, this is the most important part. Storm is on level 17. I mean, not that much of a differential, but you know, since Storm can jump away, he didn't die once. I die once, he has more kills than me. You know, this is pretty good actually. I always pay attention to the opponent's items. I just saw that Winter Raven has a blink, I pinged him for my team. Again, still trying to go bottom, trying to go bottom. I was trying to draw there, I believe, but yeah, in game. I mean. Luna is just farming mid because she's so strong right now. Obviously because of the network that she accumulated while I wasn't taking any space from her, right? I didn't get anything from top. She was able to farm top as much as she wanted. Wave from mid, wave from top, this entire jungle of the enemies, ancients and this. I didn't take one single camp from there. Meanwhile, Storm was forced to play mid and bottom, sort of, right? To react to me because he, uh, he couldn't really let troll alone here because he would just get killed by me or gone on me i mean gone on him by me and he couldn't really do anything because of that so he was just reacting to my play obviously that is one of the reasons why i went boots of travel right so i can just do more do more just be more active be even more active obviously you sort of want to get threats right on razor because of the attack speed you don't have armor but it's really it's really important to, for this game that i went boots of travel so you can be active even more teleportation from me and nature's prophet we obviously are invading there so we can uh we can just do rush and stuff we just needed the one kill so we can go rush in team fights you need to always go on the counter initiator in the enemy team or the safe counter initiator or the safe counter initiation would be sort of like a uh, shaker right they can just blink in and get an echo slam on three people if you're focusing the wrong guy. Save is Winter Viver D, for example. Actually, Winter Viver is also um, Winter Viver is also a counter initiation because of his ultimate. So that's why it's really important that we go on. Obviously, after a, a pick, I mean a pick off, you can just take it off. Again, net worth 3.5,000. I mean even more, 3.7, 3.8 between the carries. And discrepancy is just gonna grow larger i'm pretty sure this moment you can just apply pressure whatever right whenever you can and whatever you can since you're a bit uh, more from than enemies and also have an ages you can obviously just split up a bit if you have put the travel and stuff which you know i do obviously just too reckless my teammates just got 
uh, with Royal Ultimate instantly died. But we have Aegis, so we can still uh, do stuff here. Pretty sure we can still win the team fight right here, 3v5. Obviously, try to kite a bit, but applying pressure is one of the finest things in Dota that uh, are to be learned, you know. Because this is how you win games at higher, uh, higher MMR. If you're not have a great game, or even if you're having a great, great game, you still have to apply pressure, right? There's no way you just win by farming. I mean, obviously, in some games you can, but it's mostly about inconveniencing the enemy team as much as possible. This is done even by picking, right? I pick Razor. I saw, I saw four picks, and I, I saw Winter Wyvern, Troll, Centaur, and Hoodwing, and then I pick Razor because I had a, had a Luna in my team, so. You know, I was like, okay, Luna is decent against Troll, we have a lot of magical damage, what do I need? Because, by the picks, you know, we have decent picks, but the opponent's picks are a lot better. So I just have to make their games worse, Troll's games worse. This is the whole purpose of my pick, and you know, of my gameplay, this entire game. I didn't really care about anything else that happened in the game, it's just inconveniencing this Troll. So this happens. They're so far behind that he doesn't do anything in the game. Even though Troll as a hero is decent here, he's pretty good against Nature's Prophet, pretty good against Luna and Clockwork, especially if he gets like a PKB. But then, my hero, Razor, makes it not worth for him to buy a PKB and play how he wants to play. And exactly that is why we won the game, because of the pressure that I was able to apply and you know, how I played the picks and stuff. Because the game, as you can see, is not over yet. This guy started tilting, bought a Midas and stuff. but. Yeah, this is the main idea of, you know, sort of how you want to play the game when you're trying to pressure the enemies. It's pretty, pretty important that you can, like, understand it and apply it in your own games. Because you're not always the game winner, right? In this game, I'm not the game winner. I'm a Razor, I'm not... I'm not catching Storm, I'm not pushing Towers. Luna is pushing Towers, Luna is taking Roshan and stuff like that, so she is going to win the game for me, sort of. But I have to make it possible for her to carry in some sense. Uh, thank you for watching the video guys, I've been IDQ, have a nice day.